Hey guys, so you may notice something a little bit different. The camera is not on a tripod, it is on my head. Uh, and I feel like this is a better representation of, or a better way to show uh, the process of building a kit. I don't know, um, this is more of an experiment than anything else. And instead of the growing mountain of actual professional grade kits I've got over there from Revel, Trumpeter and Academy, I'm going to be building another licensed one from the 90s. In this case a 1-48 to Naboo N1 Starfighter from Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. And it is uh, built by AMT um, and it's obviously from 1999, wherever it says that. Yes, 1999, uh, because that's when the movie came out. Um, and actually, similarly to the last one, the, uh, the Mercedes, this is also a easy basic kit for kids. <laughs> because, hey, if you give kids a real kit like those, they're going to mess it up and it's going to be miserable. So, let's check out what is in this box. I wonder if that phone number's still up. I'm not going to <laughs> ruin my phone bill by, by calling it. Uh, looks like it's based in Dryersville, of Dyersville. And yeah, this appears to be a little bit more complex than the than the Mercedes, than the M-Class, but still not exactly a, you know, professional kit. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. little R2-D2 or R2 unit. I don't know if this is actually Anakin's one. That looks... Does that look like Anakin? I don't even know. I'll have to see. And yeah, so... Uh, as you can probably tell, the pieces are coloured already and chromed, which is quite fun. It's actually, uh, it's still got the chroming and it, it looks like it's scuffed and a bit dirty, but yeah, the... Oh, there's the R2-D2, there's the R2 unit. You know, oh, oh, I'll put a close-up of that. Um, yeah, I suppose you could put this together just with the... Just like the Mercedes, you could put it together just with the colours that it comes with, but it wouldn't look very good. So I'm going to use... I'm probably going to spray paint... Uh, I have. I bought some yellow spray paint, probably going to spray paint this. And then... Um, uh, the chrome I can't, obviously, because I don't have chrome spray paint or anything. So the chrome will just have to stay as it is, but... Um, but the yellow... The problem with yellow paint is that it sucks. Universally, no matter what, where you get it from, no matter nothing. So, <laughs> I bought some yellow spray paint to compensate. Let's actually take this out. Okay, what is what is our first step here? I'll put the man in the thing. Oh, I'll spray the man with uh, with with uh, real uh, proper primer, and I'll I'll do him properly. So let's check this out. He keeps writing out. Sorry. Oh look, so the live live view monitor. Okay. So that's the stand. Not interested in that. Kind of cool that this is all molded. Feels good. Lucasfilm Limited. All white rights reserved. Yeah, little tail pieces. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to pull him off. And spray him separately. Uh, yeah, step one is put the, put the dude in the thing. <laughs> it does... Eh, yeah, that's, that's totally Anakin. Yeah, it's it's not particularly obvious, but it absolutely is because he's wearing the 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 kind of robe thing that he wears in the movie. Not robe thing. What am I talking about? It's like just a just a shawl, his Tatooine costume. And so yeah, we put him in there, and then attach attach the silver to the yellow. Yeah, attach that to that. Uh, yeah, oh, that's upside down. That's why I'm getting it confused. Oh well. <laughs> See, learning process. That goes like that. And then, um, paint R2-D2. I might actually prime him, because R2-D2 is not silver. He's, he's grey and blue. Like, grey, white and blue, I guess. So I might, I might pull him off and, and I, I doubt I'll be able to strip this off, this chroming. Yeah, ugh. Lucky that's on the bottom, it's kind of gross. While I do this, by the way, I'm going to put this camera on this tripod. 
so we'll have a time lapse um, that I can do and I'm going to try and limit the length of this video as well <laughs> because the last one was just absurdly long. I'll have to figure out what the optimal way to paint them is because if we look at the if we look at the front of the box we've got a, a yellow ring here and then there's there's like engine exhaust here which will probably be I don't know burned out so I'll, I'll put a wash on that or something um, and I'll need to wash that and it's actually a really dirty I guess it has just been in a dogfight but this is actually not Anakin's because that's just one of the generic pilots oh god okay <laughs> okay let's let's head outside and let's spray some paint Okay, I am back. Everything is sprayed or primed in that case. Uh, I don't know if I'm even going to use this, but I primed it just in case. Um, yeah, the yellow is not an exact match, but you know what? It's close enough. I'm going to swap to time lapse from this perspective and we'll get going. Huzzah! I am finished! Um, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. I hope I found some appropriate music for it. Um, and I hope you like my model. Uh, it was a little strange. I don't know, you may have been able to pick it up on the time lapse, but the, the chromed parts, and you can really see the gap here, the chromed parts did not want to fit together whatsoever. And even R2's, there's a gap between the two halves of R2D2's head. They would not go together, whatever I did. And I ended up just getting some flippers and snip snip, cutting the pegs off and just gluing them with super glue, uh, which is not an ideal way of doing things, um, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, this kit is not nearly as good as the, uh, as the uh, Mercedes kit that I did before, even though it's a similar, similar kind of time frame, late 90s, similar kind of age, aim thing a plus uh, and i wasn't really sure what to do with the base i kind of did a i did kind of a bronze and then black and then a wash and then i dry brushed silver and i wanted to make it look kind of like uh i don't know stars in the sky <laughs> and the decals also uh the decals were quite difficult to put on because they were so old they had degraded to the point of getting the glue on them was kind of sticky and it was sticking they were sticking to my fingers they were they were sticking to everything except the model so that was fun um but yeah i do do really really love the design of the n1 starfighter uh and this it's quite interesting the box if i just grab the box for a second um it doesn't say phantom menace anywhere on here it says episode one it also doesn't say the n1 starfighter it says just says naboo fighter um and i feel like uh i feel like these details probably weren't actually finalized before the movie, before this this kind of packaging came out, which is quite funny. Um, and I, obviously, it's it's a hard deadline, especially for something like the return of a big franchise. So I'm sure that was that was partially why. But I just thought it was amusing. Um, I was impressed by the modeling of the interior and R2D2. I think it's R2. Yeah, it's it's Anakin, so it has to be R2. Uh, so I'll, I'll take some photos, I'll put some photos up on the screen now, but there's uh, R2-D2's very nicely, nicely moulded even after the chrome. Oh, correction from earlier, I said R2-D2 was 
grey. He's actually, he is actually silver. He's just not chrome. He's grey silver. Um, yeah, the decal's pretty nice. Uh, uh, Anakin inside kind of looks like a goblin, but you know what? We'll forgive him that. Poor, poor, uh, <laughs> uh, poor, the poor actor, whatever his name is, um, did his best. So yeah, I'll take some, I'll put some, take some glamour shots and, and put them up on screen. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try and find some more twenty-year-old licensed model kits to to make because uh, I really enjoy doing them. Uh, and oh, actually, one more thing. This is one to forty-eight. The only I don't have in my display case up there. I don't have any one to forty-eight models. The only one to forty-eight model I have is a <laughs> is a Griffin-powered Spitfire, which is on my desk at work. So I guess this is going to be on my desk at work. Okay, here I am at work, putting my Naboo fighter next to my Spitfire. As always, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, best place to get in contact with me is Twitter. Um, follow me at, at @swallowfire. Uh, check out links in the description for music and things that I used. Thanks for watching and see you next time.